So the main goal here for this restoration was to, in addition to add just aerial extent to the salt marsh, was also to add some of the diversity that we were lacking. When we have all the houses encroaching to the edge, when we have uh, the, the, the landward edge and the seaward edge, in the case of here where we have the houses between us and the beach, um, we lose a lot of the transition. So this area that we're looking at right here is really valuable um, wetland transition. So in this case, there's, there's some uh, baccarus, we, you know, terrestrial type of plants. There's some atroplex over there. There's some giant wild rye right here. Um, and so this is key. Critters, even though uh, we, we often talk about our, our legal or our jurisdictional definition of a wetland, sometimes that leads us to restore only wetland. And in reality, this is part of a, of a dynamic system, right, of a complex system. So having the transition is really, really key for some, um, say, uh, vertebrate species to have places to nest um, and other species to complete their life history, all that kind of good stuff. So um, these, these, this topographic relief does a couple things. One, it obviously, well, by definition, it's helping constrain some of the water in this area, but it's allowing um, the providing places where we can have this more terrestrial ecological community in this transition community here. And then it's also allowing uh, a place, as you look around right here, we're at an observation. Um, this is an amphitheater. So the public, when they're coming and recreating, can get a better view and can more look down into the marsh as opposed to trying to look across. So that's really helpful. The general approach here, was to improve the hydrology. So to improve the water flowing here and to do some planting. Those are the two main uh, restoration actions back in 97 when this, when this area was, was first restored, this Ash Avenue site. Okay. One thing you'll notice as we look across uh, our Ash Avenue site, and actually uh, the main salt marsh too, but particularly here since this uh, see it with this restoration is the density of stuff intentionally put in stuff in this case we're seeing mostly PVC pipes these are marking different areas where we're sampling vegetation invertebrates etc insects and uh, so this is a signal that this is a relatively well studied site right most of our, our restorations um, are monitored for a little bit and then uh, end so one of the key aspects of this site is it's right adjacent to this UC Research Reserve, the Carpenteria Salt, Salt Marsh Reserve. And uh, that means there's a lot, there's, well, not, not a huge amount of monitoring, but there's much more so than in a typical salt marsh. And so um, a great place where undergraduates can do research, graduate students, professors, etc. And so uh, having the infrastructure of a research institution is really, really, really helpful. So that's gonna allow us to collect some of the, the non-exciting day in, day out goings on. And then as people come in and have a particular interest in bats or in, in whatever, um, people can uh, do more focal studies and all this together leads to much greater insight and much better understanding of the functioning and the dynamics of these systems. So these PVC pipes out here are actually a good sign, a positive sign, and are a sign that we're working hard to understand how the system is working and changing over time.